it's Rob Panarello again with another Technique Peak. I want to speak to you about power development, or the initiation of power development. We know that strength comes a little bit easier and then we have to progress to power. And strength has to be the foundation before power because if you think, how can you apply force quickly if you can't apply force at all? So one of the exercises I like to use is box jumps. If you think of throwing a baseball in the air, if you travel 50 feet, peaked and came back down, when you catch the baseball, it's the same impact or the same force that you use to take off because you travel the same distance. And so if we cut the landing short, if we caught the baseball before it went the full distance, the impact would be less. It's the same thing with a jump. If you jump up and down in place, you'll have a certain amount of force and impact, but if you land on an object, since you didn't travel the complete distance, the force on the body will be less. Yet we know that jumping is an explosive exercise, it's used as an evaluation technique for athletes, and so forth. So Anthony is just going to show you, he's going to come up, he's going to jump up onto a box of a prescribed height, and he's going to land softly. And you're going to make sure they don't have knee collapse, knee varus, knee valgus upon landing. So again, Anthony, just take a jump up, land, step back, one more. And you see, impact forces are low, but jumping is a power activity. We're getting the fast muscle fibers to fire, and it's a good initiation exercise due to elimination of impact, as well as teaching the patient to start to get eccentric contractions with low impact, which is very important for deceleration and cutting. All right, thank you very much. Hope this helps you.